Okay, let us discuss this problem. It's an easy problem. So let me draw the diagram and then we'll discuss. So I have something like this. So this is a smooth surface. So this is a smooth surface. This means mu is equals to zero. For this surface mu is equals to zero. That is given in the problem. Now there is a hemisphere sphere something so it is difficult to make. So this is the hemisphere sphere. And there is a mass that is kept. So this is both having mass m. So this is hemisphere sphere also have mass m. And this particle also have mass m. And radius is given to you r. And let us say so the a heavy particle of mass m is placed on the top of a smooth hemisphere, which also has a mass m which is placed on a horizontal plane as shown in the figure. The system is released from the rest. So I have a hemisphere of mass m. I kept another mass m here and then system is released from the rest. Find the angle theta with the vertical when the particle loses the contact with the hemisphere. So we have to find theta when it loses the contact with the hemisphere. Are you getting? So let us say this mass, if we give a slight a small push, this mass will move this side. So at a some time it will be here. Now while this is going this side, this surface is smooth, what is happening? This mass is trying to push this bigger mass. So a smaller mass is pushing this mass. So this will also get this side velocity. How are you doing this man? Let us discuss once again. So if you see the smaller mass, there is a normal reaction on a smaller mass due to the bigger mass. If you see the bigger mass, now there is a normal reaction on the bigger mass but this normal reaction will have two component one component in this direction and one component in this direction that's good this normal reaction component will give a velocity of this bigger mass in this direction so now as soon as this mass goes down this mass also acquires a velocity in this direction are getting so let us say this is moving with this direction with velocity v1 with respect now things will be easy if I assume the velocity of this mass with respect to this mass. So velocity let us say a smaller mass, velocity of a smaller mass with to this is let us say u. So u is with respect to bigger mass. Let us call bigger mass as a sphere and this is a small block. So u with respect to a sphere. Are you getting? So this is with respect to a sphere. So, and now this itself is going with velocity v. So now you see, we can apply momentum conservation equation. So what is the total momentum in the x direction? Initially it was rest. Now it also has to be rest. So total momentum in the x direction has to be zero. Initially it was zero. Now it has to be zero again. So if you see the bigger mass is going this direction b, let us say this direction is my positive direction. So I can say this is going with a minus m into v are getting but the velocity of a smaller mass this is u in this direction so let us call this angle is theta so this is a tangential velocity in this direction is u so what is the component in the x direction you see you can have here so this angle is theta and this is moving on this surface so tangential velocity is u in this direction. Are you getting or not? Tangential velocity u in this direction. So what is the x component of this velocity? So this angle is theta. So this angle is again theta. You can prove yourself angle between line. So angle between line equals to angle between perpendicular. On this line, this is the perpendicular. On this line, this is the perpendicular. So this, 